Hey guys, welcome back once again. For those of you new here, hello and welcome. My name is Evie and today we are jumping back on into some Planet Zoo. Now, in the last episode, we did build for the Alpine Ibex and I actually really enjoyed that. Other than the fact that I chose temperate and it's rained this entire time and I don't like our chances of it not raining this entire series. But I did put it to you guys to help me pick the bee animal because I do want you guys to have an input to this zoo as to which animals you'd like to see. And it does help me get out of my rut. I usually have like the same animals that I build with every single time because I like them and I never step out of my comfort zone. So I did put it to you guys and Gooseman, thank you so much for your suggestion of the blue wildebeest. I will be, I will be building for the blue wildebeest today. Now, without further ado, we're going to jump on in. We're just going to go for it. I haven't actually played any since the last episode. So we haven't even got to see the baby alpine ibex yet, which I'm pretty excited for. I did go in and take some pictures though, and in that time, there could be another pregnantate lady. Okay, we are right back in where we jumped off from. Let's find our little pregnant lady. Whoops, I forgot the camera controls for a second. It's not Ursina? Is that how it's pronounced? Serena? St Stacia? I don't know how to pronounce things at the best of times. I'm not great at pronouncing names I'm not familiar with. Katarina and Iona. Okay, one of these has to be- oh, okay, there we go. I was too distracted by not knowing how to pronounce the name that I completely missed the pregnant. Due September and it's July. So not far away at all. Is that all of the ladies? We've got five ladies, one man, I believe. So in the time that I was just taking some pictures, I did hear the sound of like the note, I did see the notification. I should say not heard the sound of the mating. That would be a little bit intense. Um, so I do know that they were getting freaky deaky. So let's just press play and see how we go here. The cash money's doing okay. We've got 30 grand. So I obviously did leave this unpaused for a little bit while I was taking some pictures to get them in the right spot. And obviously I've accumulated a, sl a little bit more cash. But let's just, <gasps> is about to mate? Stop it, let's watch. Who's this? Who's getting freaky? Katarina? Stop it! Is she pregnant? 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 Yes! 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 Okay, and we've got some babies coming, which will attract the peoples. I can still hear the little climpity clompities of their tootsie toes. Now, I kind of do just go straight into the first habitat here. So I feel like off to the side here, we do need a little bit of like a rest area. So I think we might do a little bit of a path. What have we got? Well, same one here. Um, let's put that there and go align to grid. Oh, I forget that it's sloped. Okay, so sloped works up but doesn't work down. It's a bit odd, is it not? Which doesn't really bother me too much. So let's just go like that and that. And then I guess we can let it join back over there. Maybe a little bit further away. Oh, are you doing this to me? Actually, you know what? Yes. We're gonna create it parallel. Okay, gonna take that back a bit, go this way. And bypass it. We can have some nice greenery. You don't have to walk past the Ibex, you can walk through this way to get to the rest of the zoo, although it doesn't really work that well. Okay, okay, we're just gonna go with it, okay? Fine. About to have offspring. Regardless, the paths can wait. Yes, baby, baby, baby. If my world isn't rocked by these baby goats, I'm never having another, like, alpine ibex in my zoo ever again. Baby goats are the freaking cutest. Baby anything, I swear, half the time, except for birds. <gasps> oh my god. No, stop. Come back here. She's too fast. And it is a she. She's just too fast. Oh my god. Ramuna, you are too freaking cute. I can't handle it. Okay, but back on the tippity toppity topic of paths. I feel like I need to. I made a mistake here, okay? Of making this path, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna get rid of it. Simply getting rid of this path. I'm gonna make it so you can't just walk straight from into the zoo to this habitat. You have to kind of walk that way first. And then if you want to, it's off to the side and you can. Okay, that looks better. And I also like to smooth out the piling just a little bit like that. Much better. Easy PC. And then from there, you do some little forbies. Beautiful. There we go. Because really, once you get past that sign, you're really not seeing much. We can fill this nice little area with um, some trees and rocks, probably. Maybe some flowers if we're feeling crazy. But we've got 32 grand. We're making some bank. 
I feel like I need to leave it unpaused while I do this. And let's go to facility and guest. We should probably get some food, some drinks, some toilets in. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy with building my own a restaurant. Okay, I'm going to come clean. I'm going to come clean. I'm going to get this off my chest. I have not put a single food stall down. I haven't done it. Since the restaurant feature was obviously added, because I've never seen that before in my life. If somebody could kindly let me know when that was so I can throw myself under the bus, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's go, though. If we're going some food, we're going Mexilente, because why not? Um, let's throw Mexilente there, and we'll go Bernie's Bakes, because who doesn't want a bit of sweet? We will then throw a couple of drink stalls. We're just going to go gulpy solder. Solder? Just gulpy solder. Everybody loves a good solder, don't they? I'm actually an nincompoop. I can't deal with myself sometimes. Let's have, though. Let's do it. And you can't stop me. We're going to have some guest facilities. We're going to have merchandise. Now, we are going to have loony balloons because my cute little puppy dog, Luna, uh, I, I call her Looney Balloons. Lil Looney. Looney Balloony. Because how can I not possibly call her that when there is this in the game? She's too freaking cute. And so are balloons. I feel like I've underestimated how congested this is going to get, but I can't... I feel like I can't change it. So, now that we've got that there, I'm going to put the toilet block just right there. What have we got? 21 grand still. I could put a couple of little cheeky ATMs down. Ibex is about to mate. We love to see it. Maybe we'll have two. <gasps> oh my god. We've got lots and lots of little babies. And we're going to make it cost uh, 10 cents to use the ATMs. Everything at Information Center 1 is too expensive. How about you stop being such a cheapskate? Oh my god. Let's look at this though for a second, shall we? You walk in. The Alpine Ibex is over here. I kind of make sense to continue that way though. For the purpose of having the star facilities over there. So we will. I'm going to do it. And you guys, once again, can't stop me. Now, I am going to pause it. After we watch the other cute offspring. And this lady poop. I mean, there's no judgment. You want to poop before you give birth? By all means, go for it. Who have we got here? Katarina. Beautiful. Show us what you made of Katarina. Also, can we please talk about how the fact it's not raining at the moment in this save? Which seems like I'm probably just going to jinx ourselves and it's about to rain. This is the, the most sunshine I've, I've seen. <gasps> yes, Katarina. Baby, baby, baby. What have we got? A little boy, Lisa. Leza, Lisa. Now, let's look at the Zoopedia because I'm not actually sure. How many offspring can they have? They only have one offspring. That's completely fine. I won't wait around for a second. Now, before we do anything too crazy, let's see if we can find some blue wildebeests. Hot damn. I have a sneaky suspicion I'm going to have to buy a mail with conservation credits like I did last time. Zero immunity? Why would I pay eight grand for that? Other than the fact that it's a color variant, maybe. Um, any red. I'm going to avoid that if I can. So we'll buy you. Now, I, I did just do that, and then I was like, wait a second. I haven't even checked to see how many the blue wildebeest can have in their habitat. I just got too excited. One male, 19 females. So we're going to do similar. I think we'll go one male, 30 females. Okay, now let's take a little look at these bad boys again. They need 410 square meters, grade two, 1.25, easy peasy. Let's go six. Let's aim for 10 eventually, which gives us just under a thousand square meters, which I think was similar to what I was aiming for there. And I really don't mind the look of the sunken ones, seeing as we are on a bit of a slope so the staff can enter through the back as well. So we might try and keep doing it like that. What do I want? The stamp tool. Um, what's that? Five meters down. That kind of worked well, I reckon. We might put it over the back here and the path can then lead that way too. How big are we thinking? I feel like this is going to be like 2,000 square meters. 3,000 square meters. Okay, I might have overjudged this a little bit, but that's fine. We prefer to have too much space than not enough. Okay, so just like last time, I'm going to jump off camera. We're going to time lapse this bad boy and I will be right back.
but this is the finished habitat. I wanted like a nice, quite large open area, a little bit of a water area down there. As you saw, I did have a fair bit of trouble trying to figure out the path for that. Um, I got too distracted with wanting to have like a top section and a bottom section when realistically, also this is going to get fixed. I'm not going to leave it like this. This is a death trap for anyone coming to the zoo. But if we just go down into here, you can just see, I will deck this out with um, information boards and some plants and make it nice. I thought I might even put a toilet down here just to entice people to come down. But a nice view of the blue wildebeest having a little drink of the water because you can't really see the water up close and personal from the viewing area as much. Everyone seems to be coming down this way. They are making the effort to make their trek down. I think I will in the next... I might even off camera just do a bit of work to these, um, like cover them a little bit. They do just look really sad. And so do the staff areas. And I am starting to earn enough cash back, actually 40 great, 40 gree, 43 grand I have. And that has, I feel like it's done quite well. Like I have just been trying my hardest to not pause when I build and let it play. So I do actually get the cash while I'm building and spending money. Let's just watch these little cuties for a little while as they're just pooping. I um, tried, tried, I've been looking constantly to try and find a male and there was only that like 5,000 or 8,000 or some ridiculous amount of conservation credits. And as much as I'd love to happily spend that much, I can't do it. I just, I'm saying it. The blue wildebeest male is not worth 8,000 conservation credits. Or, hear me out. This is my plan, right? I can corner the market. I've got the cash, I can buy one of these bad boys. I can then breed like there is no tomorrow with this bad boy. Fill the trading center with cheap cash males. You know how I said there is no cash males here in the last episode? I can bombard the system with cheap cash males. Maybe, look, if you think I should be spending my cash to corner the market and break the system, let me know. Also, I jinxed myself. As soon as I started building this habitat, it started raining. I was really enjoying the no rain as well. We also do have a few little baby goats. What have we got? Three in here? Four in here? Is that a little baby? Oh my God. And she's gold standard. Hell yeah. Maybe we might need to put some birth control going on in here. There's five little babies. Billy has been b -b 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 busy. We love that Billy, get busy. Not a single, not a single male. This might be a problem. There's so many females and never any males. But let's watch this little cutie because they seem to be quite happy, I believe. Let's actually double check that. Nutrition, I might last drink cleanliness. Oh, that's fine. Because that is getting fixed as we speak. I would like to see them interact with some of these. Like maybe I can get the, I'm gonna call the keeper urgently because I would like to see them play with this. Okay, let's see if the keeper can. They're gonna get the grab ball. Oh my God, the little cutie. I love it when they grab the grab ball. Hello, little cutie. Cause I do wanna watch this little animation here. Look at his little like cucumber stash and cherry tomato nose. It's not, I'm not gonna lie. I was picturing more of like an attack, not just a gentle graze, but that actual enrichment item itself is actually quite cute. I swear all these animals do a poop. As soon as I put the camera on, poop, 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 poop. That's all they do. Oh, I just really want a blue male. Feel the beast. Why? Why is this, this happen to me? I made my mistakes. I do actually quite like the layout that I have done for these little cutie patooties as I do feel like they are making the most of their entire enclosure. I, they have to walk all the way to one end to get their water, but it's not too far. I, it's nice to see that they're actually all spread out. I was a little fearful doing a nice long habitat that maybe they would kind of all just stay around the one area. But no, it seems to be going pretty well so far. And I can't wait till I've actually got that little viewing area up and running and the toilet put in there. As well as I need to start thinking where I'm going to put the next animal. Now maybe I could do like one in the center over here behind like the food court. That could work. I just feel like Frontier has to have a blue male at some stage. You can't not give us a blue wildebeest. Frontier, please. Please, help. Of course, the one animal I click on is the one shitting. It's just the way. It is literally ridiculous how many times you click on an animal and it's just like insta-pooping. It literally holds on until you put the camera on it, I swear. Like, majority of the time. 
Okay, so for the next episode, if you guys would like to put your suggestions down for the animals that you would like to see for the letter C, your options are, let me finally scroll down there, the California sea lion, the capybara, the caracal, the cheetah, the Chinese pangolin, the clouded leopard, the Colombian white-faced capuchin monkey, the common ostrich, the common warthog, the common wombat, the cougar, the, uh, the dwarf caiman, the, is it the cuvier? Kuvias? Dwarf Cayman? And that's it. Um, I do want to check while we're here, though, our blue wildebeest. So the blue wildebeest actually can share areas with a lot of other animals. Now, if I really wanted to, I could be cheeky. Once we do, say, the say and see, we miss out on the common ostrich or the common warthog. Maybe I could just, like, throw it in with them. And I'm technically not breaking any rules. Same with the black wildebeest. I could do just like a full wildebeest habitat and throw some more of those in if we don't have much luck finding a blue male. Because at the, this point in time, it's going to be an empty habitat once these girls die. Now, don't forget, if you do want to suggest what animals we should be putting in the zoo next, don't forget to comment down below. And I will be looking through the comments and replying to those who do. Oh my god, that's such a happy little blue wildebeest. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!